we are getting live. Okay, we are live now and I will check um, and uh, if it works. And we should speak, otherwise I will not get if we have to, uh, okay. Ay, ay, ay. Übersicht. But you you can edit it, uh, the the length of the the uh, webinar. Yes, I will do it mm. later on. Mm. And now, dude, we have to check that first. Can you see if it's been the sound is working? <laughs> right now, I cannot see anything here. Okay, it's fifty five now. It's fifty five and. Uh, Neueste Beiträge, that should be we, and wait a moment. I will check. Yeah, I will check and we are online. Okay. Okay. And we have sound. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Tor. I'm really happy to have you here. And Thank you. We, I'm happy to be here. Yes, gorgeous. And we talk about sustainability. And maybe the first question, uh, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for a long time now, but uh, can you introduce yourself, who you are and uh, why you are talking about sustainability? Well, first of all, the question who I am is a very difficult question. It's something I've been struggling with for the last 60 years, to be honest. Uh, but uh, saying that I'm I'm living in Sweden and, and uh, working globally, so to speak, and I've been working with culture for about th almost 30 years in, in large global organizations. Uh, so who I am in terms of professional life is really coming from a space of working inside of organizations to grow culture uh, uh, over many, many years. And lately then uh, my focus has changed towards sustainability because I realized that culture and values and consciousness has a lot to do with sustainability. So that's the shift on the later years. Okay. What would you like to tell us about sustainability in general? Well, that's a, also a big... Uh, you start with very big questions to me. <laughs> um, but um, what I, first of all, I think that it's very well known. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's starting to be a global notion, so to speak, that we, we, there's no, we are at a point of no return. We have to do something. Uh, and... and uh, we can't just wait anymore. And, and then more and more people are and organizations are uh, understanding this. So it, it's a movement that, in, in that sense. But if you ask me what, what I would like to tell you about sustainability is the connection. I'm not going to talk about the sustainability goals because I think that's an excellent description of what is actually needed for humanity at this point in, in history. Uh, that is something that I wouldn't say that I'm an expert in. But what I think uh, that I'd like to tell you about is it, that it is it demands our own consciousness, our individual consciousness, but it also demands courage for us to stand up against the norms that we are living by in our lives today. Uh, and it's not uh, a call for action by a few that do big things. That is also good, but it's really everyone can contribute uh, to a more sustainable world. And I would also then say that it's our unconscious ego and our ego needs uh, like greed and selfishness and uh, maybe apathy that is the biggest hinder or obstacle for us to become more sustainable. So my connection to sustainability is really the inner world of the unknowing, uh, that we are not aware of, that we are not actually contributing to a sustainable world, but becoming more aware, we can start to contribute each one of us. Um, so it's, it's. Um, I would say that the race that we are up against is not uh, a competition of who is going to win. It's more of a, a race of collaboration uh, where our biggest enemy or uh, is the battle against your inner demons your mm -hmm. own fear of not getting your basic needs met. And talking about consciousness, um, I'm, I'm not sure about that point. What has been your inspiral uh, moment regarding sustainability so far? 
Because well, I know you are a conscious person. <laughs> But yeah, there can be such a moment. Yeah, we're all conscious. It's more a matter of what we are conscious about and how wide we are in our consciousness. But I think that one of the biggest inspirational moments was actually uh, coming up uh, when it comes to sustainability. Uh, after working with cultures for so many years, we had a question from uh, a dear colleague in uh, PwC in Netherlands, uh, Wendy Van Tol, who actually approached me and Phil Clothier at Barrow Valley Center at that time. Uh, and asked us, uh, is it possible to connect values to the sustainability goal? Because our clients are asking more and more regarding that. Is it possible to use values, uh, our values, to see how sustainable we are? Uh, and um, that was a really interesting and also something that spoke very much to Phil and me uh, at that point. So we, we started off and tried to connect the, the values to the 17 goals. Uh, and very quickly, we came to the conclusion that it's not, that's not possible because many values are connected to many of the 17 goals. But then we were also pointed at the direction of the United Nations 5P, which is an extension of the triple bottom line. The five P's is people, uh, prosperity, peace, planet, and, and partnership. And, and when we looked at those that dimension, we realized, and that was really an inspiring moment, we realized that you, it's possible to connect to connect our values to those five dimensions. And by that, we were able to display the level of sustainability that your organization have. I mean, you can see the focus you have on people, on prosperity, on planet, on peace, and in partnership. And by that, you were able to see where is the area for our improvement and what is holding us back from a sustainability point. That was a really inspiring moment and we, we were able to, to, to uh, unlock that um, but th there are also a number of inspiring moments uh, uh, that I seeing leaders like uh, Paul Pullman former leader of uh, Unilever for example reaching out challenging our way of thinking Richard Branson challenging our thinking uh, but we also have uh, consultants like Clive Wilson that I have been very inspired by uh, in and when they are and Richard Barrett uh, with his uh, global sustainability goals or global um, uh, well-being indicators that he has developed helps us to see things from a new perspective help us to get the language for what could be done and challenging our way of looking at the world at this moment, so to speak. That's really inspiring. And with this background, and I didn't know about Wendy van Troll was like, uh, uh, she, the, I, I know yeah. her and she uh, gave the push for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, why is sustainability such an important success factor? <laughs> Not, it's necessary, you know that. Uh, yeah, I mean, my, my first... <laughs> The, the first thing that comes to my mind is that our children children will not have a world to live in if we don't do anything about it. That's, that's a very good driver for me that not only our, I mean, ours, not mine, my children only, it's our children and their children. We consume the world in a, in a pace today that doesn't make it possible for them to have a place to live in. So, so that is one driver. The, the more short-term reason for why sustainability is important and the success factor is that if you take investors, investors in companies uh, where you have the possibility to you know, grow and develop as an organization, the investors are getting more and more focus on what are the, how can they invest their money in sustainable businesses, businesses that take care of the world, that take care of the, the scare resources that we have, uh, that uh, think about the environment, all those aspects are becoming more of where do we invest our money? And, and that, of course, has an impact on our businesses as well, ability to grow, and because we need money to grow our businesses as well. But also, if you can say investors is one group, customers, we as individual clients also are more concerned about is this product a sustainable product? Are we using the resources well? Are we, uh, and it's not only how we impact the environment, but also how we uh, relate to others. Like, uh, are we using child uh, labor to do the production? How is mm -hmm. the transportation system? It, it becomes more and more consciousness around that. And we choose our products to minimize those type of 
non-sustainable impact. And I would even say that we as employees look at who we would like to work with. Is the company contributing to a more sustainable world? That is also a very important factor for us when we choose who we would like to work with or, or we attract more people uh, by that, so to speak. So, so there are many aspects of why it is important to work with sustainability, not for the fact only that it's for our next generation, but also for us to be able to attract and get uh, money and, and, and sell our products. And if we have this big, uh, big view and get a little bit closer to a company, what can leaders do to foster and value sustainability in a team? Um, sometimes they do not know about what is the company is doing or what can they do in, in a team or how can they start in a team? Well, um, the first step, I would say, is to start to work with themselves. Okay. And what right. should they do? <laughs> uh, to become more aware of uh, who am I? What is my purpose in my life, so to speak? And how do I contribute uh, to a better world? Am I sustainable? Am I creating a sustainable environment around me? Am I creating a sustainable society in which I'm part of? And do I have my decisions impact also the world and the scare resources that we have? Starting by understanding that. And, and what I mean by then starting to work with themselves is really to be, be a beacon for a more sustainable world today by their actions for tomorrow together and together is there because they have to also recognize that they have to invite people around them to be part of of a journey going forward to make a difference in the world it's not something that we have to collaborate as i said in the beginning mm -hmm. but the other thing will more practically would be to invite their team members their people around them to talk about what are the values and behaviors that they live by each of the team members and how that is impacting them uh, so they can become sustainable as individuals and how we can work together to become more sustainable. And here's uh, something that Phil and I uh, have uh, become very clear about. If I am not, as a human being, sustainable myself, let's say I'm afraid of not getting enough I would do things. I will be greedy. I will, uh, you know, make sure that I get as much as possible. That is not going to be good for the common good, for the for the whole. And and by focusing on that, I'm not sustainable because of that value, because of that fear of mm -hmm. not having enough, so to speak. Or if I'm uh, excluding people and not relating and inviting people, collaborating with people, for example. So. It all starts with me becoming aware of how sustainable am I as an individual uh, and in my decision making, so to speak, in my pro priority. And that is becoming more aware of your being in order to voice yourself and put demands outside. It's very difficult to start to put demands on, uh, on the world outside and around you if you're not aware of it yourself. So that's why you have to start inside of yourself. And one part is sustainability. The other one is the personal development, being able to uh, more teamwork, collaboration. Um, do you have something uh, how I can experience that as a team leader with my team? What can I do? For example, if I have like a system where always uh, the best is uh, the best guy, um, there's are uh, different thinkings. Um, yeah. Uh I mean, if if we um, there are many dimensions of becoming aware of uh, in, mm -hmm. in inside of yourself, and, and one of is who am I? What is my purpose? What is my contribution? Is the world becoming a better place because of my being? <laughs> do do I have a possibility to impact myself? Uh, or impact the world around me because of my thinking, because of my belief. Uh, becoming conscious about that. And that could be, and that's coming back to walking the talk. That mean the, so I own that myself. I, I can create the decisions or create awareness around my own being um, that makes me walk the talk, so to speak, and show 
uh, in my decision, my daily decision making, that I am truly trying to be more or a good contributor to a more sustainable world. Um, and, and that is, I, in my point of view, is maybe the biggest one because that is very inspiring to see people around you. And then, of course, the leaders, that they are truly thinking about it, uh, judging that in the decision making and, and speaking about it. And so that has a, a big impact because what we are looking at is what are the actions? What are the actual things? Can you prove that, that this is happening? Uh, that is, and that's good. It is nothing wrong with having focusing on that. But I, I like this um, statement. I, I read that in the Human Development Report for 2020 that uh, the UNDP, uh, United Nations Development Program, uh, Achim uh, Steiner, the, the administrator or the CEO, what they call themselves, uh, administrator, has, has written something that I really spoke to me. We need to move from value what we measure, because we identify what we, what we measure, to instead measure what we value. Oh. Uh, and uh, the world today is very much focused on uh, valuing what we measure but not so much measuring what we truly value. But when you start to understand that, you become more aware of my actions because my actions is, is coming from my needs, which is expressing my values and thereby my decisions of which I, what I prioritize. And by becoming aware of your own values, you become more aware of, does that have a sustainable impact on me and the world around me? Then, of course, all these things could then, you know, that's what's more the individual dimension. But then, of course, that will then multiple into a team dimension, collaborative dimension. And that is to invite my team to have a similar type of conversation. So I have a possibility to, to have a conversation. What is important to me in my life today? What are my needs? And have a reflection about that together with your team. That is the starting point and, and and by that you empower each of those individuals to be able to act in a more sustainable world or in a sustainable way um, and then more practically and and there are we have developed uh, and we are going to share those uh, tools so to speak uh, hopefully beginning of next year uh, on a, a website for everybody to download questions that you can ask yourself regarding how sustainable you are as an individual, how sustainable we are as, as an organization, and how do we as an organization contribute to a more sustainable world outside of our own organization. Um, now we can share that uh, on a later occasion. If And, and mm -hmm. if somebody who's listening here would like to have that before, they can then uh, reach out to you or me and we can share that with them. So it's, no, it's open. Uh, it will be an open source. Uh, but the third thing that I come to think of what a leader can do to, to foster a sustainable in their teams, sustainability thinking in their teams is also maybe because as a leader, you also have the possibility to make priorities of what we should focus on and what we practically need to do. And it could be that here's, I mean, many organizations, specifically organizations that has been focusing on innovation, have a, a day, free day every month or something like that to play with mm -hmm. things that they can do uh, to, to innovate, so to speak. And 3M, for example, that's how they develop the, the post-it notes, right? Uh, for example, that it came out of that. But I also see that, it, why don't we have a free day every month for people to be able to contribute to a more sustainable world? and do whatever they think is possible. And if you combine that with the possibility to talk about what is important to you, what are the values, what do you want to do? You not only help each individual, but you also help the team or the organization to make much more of a sustainable impact on the world. Each one of us, so to speak. That's, that's uh, that what came to my mind, long answer to what they can do, but uh, I think the first point to summarize what I've said, first point, start with themselves, invite others to be part of it, and then inspire to do action, so to speak. Yes. 
And it's uh, starting with the inner work before you're taking actions. And that will be also, I guess, your tip. What is your most important tip for people who wants to do more for sustainability? You do not have to be a leader. Uh, it's the same if you... Yeah, it's very similar here, but it's really... What if I would like to add, I mean, of course, you need mm -hmm. to review what are your values and, and your priorities and, and asking yourself, is my values contributing to a more sustainable world? Well, th that is a that's more creating consciousness about your own drivers and your own needs. Um, but I would also maybe include uh, the important tip here it would also be coming back to your purpose before my purpose and my purpose is connected to um, energetically um, you could say it could be connected to my to satisfy my basic needs but it could also be connected to my transformational or my common good needs as well or, or aspirations so it's more of maybe i need to revisit what is my purpose in my in my life so to speak uh, and that is a it's, it's a question that continues to need to be nurtured and, and questioned uh, but the question i ask myself is the world a better place because i'm in it oh okay and 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 if you ask yourself that question it becomes no maybe not and then the, the next step will then be okay what can i do practically in daily things that i can do to contribute and there are loads of inspirational sites of what you practically can do. Uh, and United Nations has for even for a personal perspective. And we also have, um, yeah, so no, um, there are other organizations who are working with practical tips. But my, it's more about becoming aware of what is my daily actions? What are my patterns, habits that I have? that is not contributing to a more sustainable world? And what can I do to be more sustainable? And again, it comes back to my purpose and my values that, that drives that. And that is something that everyone who would like to, you know, work for a more sustainable world and to become more sustainable, it starts with that consciousness and that inner journey. Gorgeous. That is a good final sentence. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to add anything else? Uh... What I didn't ask. Um, yeah, I mean, you asked me this question. Of course, I started to think there are so many good initiatives in the world today, um, and and um, even I've even come to some who have expressed sustainability is a buzzword today. Well, thank God it is. Let's see what how can we develop our understanding of what sustainable is, and and. Um, uh, there are these big questions, big, I mean, how do we um, reduce hunger? How do we have clean water? I mean, all the things here, how do we partner for the sustainability goals? I'm just taking a few of the 17 goals. Those are excellent. And there are a number of sub goals under these as well, which are very practical tips. But if we as individuals are not working with ourselves and not having that on our radar in our consciousness, it's not going to happen. It will be a few doing some work. We need to inspire people around us. Uh, and um, I get very enthusiastic or uh, optimistic, I would say, because I meet more and more leaders who believe that this is, is a very important, not only for the company, but it's important for the world and for our generations to come, that we need to make decisions that are helping ourselves to empower us to be able to create that sustainable world. And, and um, I get more and more leaders uh, and organizations that are stepping up and, and taking a very proactive step. What I, in this conversation, when I thought about uh, this conversation with you, my main message is really, we have uh, an individual internal journey to do. Uh, and thereby start because then we will sometimes I have this metaphor to to or, or um, illustration if I stand on a big football court or a field mm -hmm. and then I have around me I have um, um, uh, stands for spectators right 
and there is one guy up uh, on the, the the spectators and i am standing in the middle of the field and if he or she calls my name i can barely hear that person it's just going to be very hello door. from a very long distance i would hear that but if the whole spectator everyone was saying hello tour at the same time it will be overwhelming and it's just that's how everyone can contribute but when everybody is doing it in the same way and i'm starting starting to do that by them i mean together that's where the big impact comes and i think it's a very similar situation it's not about be doing these big things that are good for sustainability by a few it's more of the the, the big mass doing everything that we can in our daily life that will have a massive impact on a more sustainable world gorgeous hmm. i think we we covered all well, what you can do as a starting point what is my purpose and uh, develop it's it's inner work develop your own consciousness mm -hmm. and um, get together with other people who think in the same way and there are a lot of people outside right now who are keen to start working on sustainability and that's mm -hmm. a way we will move on i have um, one more thing that i'd like to to say as well uh, there is an organization uh, i wouldn't even maybe call it a movement uh, um, that is called the inner development goals idg uh, um, and the website is www Uh, dot in the development goals in one word dot org uh, and why do i bring them up because they have researched and and tried to find out what are what is the inner development goal what are the, the the things that we need to develop inside of us and they found five different categories and it's really aligned with what i'm talking about here as well and that's the you know uh, being coming more more uh, aware of our own being That's one mm -hmm. of the five categories, so to speak. Uh, and then each one of these categories have subcategories as well, describing behaviors and, and ways of thinking. The second one is the thinking, being, you know, the skills. What are the cognitive skills that I need to possess to be able to, to create a more sustainable world? And how do the third thing is more how do I relate? Uh, to caring for others, so to speak. But then the, sec the fifth one, No, it has been, must be the fourth one. Is the how we how do we collaborate? Um, I mean, the social skills to work together, mm -hmm. and then the last of these are actually how do we drive change and how do we act? And I think that that gives uh, we sometimes we would like to have some reference to start with. You don't need that, but it helps for many to get some inspiration of what that is, and that's research based as well. What oh, are those behaviors? Cool. So, so uh, it's a, an open website that you can go into and look at. Uh, so that it would be one thing. Uh, but then, of course, I think that the um, just doing the, um, the values assessment uh, that Barrett Value Center offers is another way to start that conversation. And you have the free uh, personal values assessment uh, yeah. that you can take to start that conversation. So there are many ways. But getting some inspiration of that inner journey is probably a good starting point as well. Thank you. A lot of inspiration. Thank you for your time. And it was a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.